Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to call me, and yeah. All right, so it's Comic-Con weekend, and a lot of trailers has been revealed, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, As I'm recording right now, it's Saturday, so the Aquaman trailer should be revealing anytime soon. So we're going to be talking about that maybe at the end, you know, depending when, what time it's going to be revealed. But yeah, so uh, let's start with uh, Invader Zim. So yeah, at Comic-Con, they revealed a teaser for Invader Zim. Now, I'm not completely sure if this is going to be a movie or a television show. Now, I would really like it if it was going to be a show, but looking at, you know, how well it looks, how beautiful it looks, it's probably going to be a movie. Now, I did say movies, but it's not going to be at theaters. It's just going to be at the Nickelodeon channel um, as a, you know, special movie. I used to fucking love Invader Invader Zim. Invader Zim was so goddamn funny. How random it fucking is. Like, my favorite part about the show is just Gerd. Like, he's random as fuck. Yeah, I remember last year, like, um, you know, I was like, oh, let's go, let's go back to memory lane and watch these old shows. Uh, funny as fuck, but I forgot how much screaming there is in this show. There's a lot. But yeah, love the show. Um, I'm really excited for the movie or show, whatever it's gonna be. Uh, still gonna watch it. So, uh, yeah. Oh shit, breaking news. We got a Shazam trailer that just came out. So it's just hot, fresh out the motherfucking oven. Alright, so since this trailer just came out, I only watched it twice. I might have missed some stuff if I'm, you know, talking so ignorant. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, off the bat, I gotta say this. Um, this trailer looks better than every DC movie that's already been coming out, alright? I love this trailer because it's not taking itself so serious. I mean, his power is to say Shazam, and then, there we go, he becomes a man with powers. And throughout this trailer, Shazam acts like he's a kid. I'm just watching the trailer, I'm like, geez, this, this is just fun. Like, I'm having a fun time just watching this trailer. Now, I was thinking about it, like, how would the movie look like if they took the same tone as the Superman and Superman vs. Batman movies, it'd probably be boring, you know? And Shazam would have been like, you know, um, Superman, just dull. Now, before this trailer came out, there were rumors that The Rock was going to be in this movie. We don't know who he's going to be, his role, nothing. We just heard that he's going to be in this movie. He is going to be in this movie, all right? It's confirmed. Uh, it's checked in IMBD. I thought he would be perfect as Shazam because this is The Rock. He, he has charisma. He has the acting ability to kind of act like a child. So I could see that. All right. So later we heard The Rock was going to be um, Black Adam. He's not going to be Shazam. And I was kind of disappointed. Now seeing this trailer, uh, this guy, I have no idea who this guy is. He looks familiar. He looks like an actor that was skinny, but got buff as fuck for this role. All right, so I checked in IMBD. Uh, he's from, he's Flynn from Rapunzel, and he's that blonde guy from Thor. So yeah, now I remember who he is. So yeah, when I watched the first trailer, I was like, hmm, I don't know him as Shazam, but the second time I watched it, I was like, okay, I I'm okay with him. He does act the part. He does act like he's a kid. He's also reacting what a kid would react if he had powers, you know? But yeah, Shazam trailer looks good. Hopefully the movie is good, and I think it will be. So, yeah. Alright, so five minutes after the Shazam trailer came out, Aquaman trailer came out. Alright, so I watched the Aquaman trailer two times. The first time was just watching the regular trailer, you know? And the second time was watching a reaction to the trailer. Alright, so after watching the Aquaman trailer, it seems like DC is finally putting colors into their movies. It took four to five shitty movies until DC realized Oh, we could put colors in our movies and still be dark. We should put more lights in this movie. I mean, it's not a bad thing. All right, so this trailer, it's okay. I, I think it, it looks like an okay movie. Um, Does it look better than every DC movie that is out right now? Yes. Yes, it does. I don't really have too much opinion about this trailer. Like, I'm not really excited for this, but... Uh, I, I think it's gonna be a good movie, you know? Alright, so the next trailer that came out of Comic-Con is Titans. So, it's another DC property show, and it is based on T-Titans. This trailer is complete trash. Everything about this trailer is just disgusting. Why does Starfire look like she's a prostitute, and why does Beast Boy look like he's wearing, like, the mask from The Mask? The part where Robin says, fuck Batman, and it's like, wow, that's, that's just... You, you're trying so fucking hard to be edgy. It's just showing like, ooh, we, we just cursed. And also, he Robin just killed somebody. Ooh, we're, we're being edgy. We're being M.A. It's like, all right, all right, stop. Just right in, the, in, that, in that Robin scenes, I'm like, no, this is... They're trying so hard to be like the Marvel Netflix. They're trying to be like, you know, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones. They're trying to be that, but... 
it's the production just looks disgusting. It look the production reminds me of a Disney Channel show. It just looks cheap. Like look at the characters. Look at them, uh, Raven and Starfire and Beast Boy. They look disgusting. And also the sound effects. Oh my god, the the sound effects sound so fucking fake. <laughs> They just sound so generic. Like they probably got these sound effects from a free website. You know, it's like, oh, we got you know free free sound effects. You guys want some? Yeah, man. Like, oh my god, T Nine was just a good show. It was a good show. Uh, god damn it! And they make T Nines go, and they just destroy my you know hopes and dreams of the show maybe being good. And then this comes out. I'm like, oh, it's completely fucking dead. The only way I could see it come back is Christopher Nolan saying, hey, I want to make a Teen Titans show. <laughs> it's like, whoa, okay, yeah, here's the rights. Yeah, I'm just watching the trailer again. Oh my god. Raven looks like an edge fucking Lord teenager. Like, ah, uh, this... This looks so fucking generic. This looks like... This, lo this looks like a Twilight. This looks like uh, something from a fucking Disney Channel show. Like... Ah, uh, just fucking kill me. Oh yeah, um, I gave my opinion in Twitter, and I got like um a DC fanboy so fucking triggered that he assumes that I'm a Marvel fanboy. Well, I kind of am, but I don't suck Marvel's dick all the way. I mean, I, I don't like Black Panther. I think Black Panther's over fucking rated. I haven't watched Ant Man too, and you didn't see me in the fucking Twitter and tweeting about, oh my god, it's it's better than the Dark Knight. It's like get the fuck out of here. What like Marvel boys don't have reason to give your opinion. And get the fuck out. Now I'm. I'm gonna block his name, but you know, you can go check my Twitter and you know, this post, and you could check, you know, who this guy is. So, yeah. So, yeah, trailer is Garbo. Alright, so the last thing I wanna talk about is Star Wars The Clone Wars is gonna have their final season. So, they already released a teaser, and it looks great. Now, I thought the show was really good, but the only thing. I just didn't like and I couldn't just watch was the character design like I I just didn't like this now I know the design was inspired by Gendi Tardigoski I can't even pronounce his last name I know that but it's just like uh, 2d worked for it but making it into 3d just it didn't work all right I just didn't like the design of the characters it just makes it I don't know a little bit too cartoonish so I just I, I just couldn't watch it it seems like they updated the characters um like Anakin looks like Anakin from episode 3 and so does Obi-Wan Kenobi now I'm not gonna watch this new season I mean, I mean I have to like a season like this I, I need to watch everything but I, I think I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do that but uh, I know a lot of people do love this show, and just hearing about it just is amazing. Like, I, 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 I watched, like, some clips, and I'm like, holy fucking shit, this is violent. Like, this show isn't just for kids, it's for, like, all ages, like, for adults and teenagers. Like, there is a lot of mature stuff that is happening here. But yeah, I am happy for the fans that are happy about this, you know? I, I, I know this show was canceled, and now it's coming back, so, yeah, happy for you guys. So yeah, so, um, there's a show called Instable, so it's a Netflix show show about a fat girl um, getting bullied all the time and I guess by next year she became skinny and beautiful uh, but she still wants revenge from the people who bullied her now the controversy from that was you know oh it's body shaming because oh the only way to get beautiful is to get skinny it's like all right I understand you know you want to be body positive you know you, oh if you're fat all right fine it's it's okay you don't have to be ashamed of that but you guys are really saying, oh, her way of being beautiful or, you know, being a better person is by being healthy, working out. Oh, fuck her. It's offending me. It's like, what the fuck? Not sure if you guys are aware, but being fat is unhealthy. And like I said, if you're fat, I'm not saying, oh, you better fucking lose weight, fatty. I'm like, no, I'm just saying it's not a bad thing to lose weight. And people are making it seem like, you know, oh, you're losing weight and it's just show. Oh, you're trying to push it on gender saying, oh, fat people need to lose weight if they want to be beautiful. It's like. No, we're just living in a outrage culture like people want to be oppressed. They people want to be angry at something and just yell at it. Just pure cancer. All right. So, yeah, that's all I got to say. So, um I think okay, this Comic-Con felt a little bit weird because I'm like, all right, where's where's Marvel? Where's Mar no, Marvel's not here. Because Marvel has their own convention with Star Wars and Disney. So, it did felt a little bit empty, but we're going to have to get used to it because Marvel is not coming back unless, you know, Disney, you know, their stocks go down and, you know, they just started losing money and something like that and they have to sell Marvel to get money. And yeah. So yeah, that's all I got to say. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the Twitch, 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 and Twitch, Twitch, and Twitch, Twitch, and 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 Twitch